Hello. Well, my next video was meant to be a review of something that I've had for a little while. But life gets in the way sometimes, so instead it's going to be another unboxing. And as you can probably guess, this unboxing relates to Pagani Design's new Explorer 2 homage. Now I managed to pick up one of these in the AliExpress sale, and that just about coincided with the hype of whether or not this model was going to get discontinued. And guess what? It did. However, it went from this to this. And I guess you could say that lots of people were fairly disappointed, especially people who bought up the old Explorer model at fairly exorbitant prices just before Rolex's announcement in early April. And to be honest, I was fairly close to going ahead and buying one myself, but somehow I managed to resist. But to kick the temptation down the road a little bit, I went for a homage. So without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. So as you can see, we get a couple of freebies here. One is the orange NATO strap, which goes with the orange GMT hand. Inside the box, you've got the cloth. You've got a fairly useless screwdriver. Don't use it with a bracelet. Please don't. And here's the watch itself. Uh, it looks fairly good, doesn't it? And so does the bracelet, actually, which is a bit of a surprise from Pagani. But let's see how it wears. Okay, so the last things in the box are basically the guarantee card and the instruction manuals. And here's the watch on my six and three quarter inch wrist, sized up for me. And I have to say it weighs fairly well, but then you'd expect that considering that they've basically copied Rolex's design. Nevertheless, it sits really well on the wrist, as you can see. And the buckle is signed with Bugani design, which is quite a nice touch as well. So overall, first impressions are fairly positive. But one thing to note here is that the crown is not screwed down and that might affect its water resistance rating. So when you pull it out to the first position, turning the first way as you just saw turns the date and turning it the other way changes the GMT hands position. Pulling it out to the second position allows you to adjust the time. And as you can see, the GMT hand is then slaved in this position so it rotates along with the hour hand. So it's certainly not the same movement that Rolex uses but at least it seems to work reasonably well. I'm not entirely convinced of the bracelet though, it has already pulled a couple of hairs out, so that's something to be aware of. And you can see that there's a display back for the movement as well, unlike the original which is a closed case back which might have been better here. Anyway that's it for this short unboxing video, I look forward to giving you my full thoughts on this watch at a later time. If you liked, please subscribe and please leave some comments below as well so that I can get better at this. Thanks very much for watching.